So how you doing? I know you guys usually get to see me in my working environment, my little corner and stuff like that with my little shrine, but today I got lucky. Today I am actually up here in Phoenix at the flat track races. I get to interview riders, I get to interview the crew chief, I get to do all that today. All right, so here we are. We're at Phoenix, we're at the flat track races. We got all this coming out. We actually got guys getting ready to go out to do their qualifying heat right now. You can see it's a little dusty, but they don't care. They're all out the whole time. My family's always been in racing, so, uh, you know, seeing my dad and, and his dad race and stuff like that is just uh, part of the blood, you know. it's uh, This is my 25th year of uh, professional racing, and, uh, you know, it's been good. So uh, it's, uh, I would say family, you know. It's, it's, it's all we know, really, so it's, it's, it's part of our life. It is our lives. Yeah. How do you like working on the scout as a whole? It's 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 a, a way advanced motorcycle compared to what I've been used to working on. I tell people when they ask me that question, that my response is the XR Harley Davidson 750 was like a 55 Chevy V8. Uh -huh. These are like a new Corvette. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, inspiration was just having fun. I mean, being a little kid, uh, I was always a daredevil running around the property. Uh, and as soon as my dad asked me, hey, man, would you like to, to have to ride a motorcycle? And I'm like, I was five years old, and I'm like, yeah. And I remember him bringing it home on the chain deck log truck, and we had a 10 acres out in the country, and that turned into a racetrack pretty quickly, and it still is the racetrack. So, uh, yeah, I mean, just inspiration was just having fun and, and doing something that was uh, a little wild. All right, so here we are. We're back in Tucson at our shop. Had a great time up in Phoenix watching the flat track races and watched those guys run around. Um, Kenny, we did see you leave the track early. That's all right. It was a safety issue on your call. We completely agree. Uh, Dave had a really good analogy about the other American-made motorcycle and the Scout, which I thought was hilarious. So that's it for this video, but stay tuned for part two with Chad Coast and his crew chief, Tom.